Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I'm in this tutorial. You're going to be learning how you can easily create your own actions in Photoshop. So, those that don't know actions, actions are short shortcuts rather that are going to help us really edit faster and are going to help us do different actions or different steps within Photoshop with just a single click of the shortcut. So, if I told you want to learn how to create your own actions or your custom actions, you can simply hit the like button because it is going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. And also, if at all you're interested in purchasing or buying my retouching essentials pack, which is or which contains around 10 actions for skin retouching, you can check the links in the description of this very video. So, right now, before you can create the action, and you're using Photoshop, and I'm using Photoshop 2020. So, before you create the action within Photoshop, you always have to take into consideration the major aim for that very action so right now we want to focus on frequency separation or skin retouching so in order to create a skin retouching action within photoshop you're going to do the processes in photoshop while recording them so at, at the end of the recording process of the action you can simply play and apply that action to the photo so you're going to come so before you record the action within photoshop Always make sure the background layer is selected and you only have one layer right here. So after you have ensured that, you're going to come to window and we make sure actions is checked. So make sure you left click on action, it's going to open up the actions panel or action window. So before recording the action, always make sure the action is going to be saved in a set. So this folder icon is for creating a new set so you left click and click on that and simply choose a set for the action so for this set is going it's going to be basically about skin retouching so every action that you want to include in a given set is going to be saved in that set so after that you're just going to come and click ok so you can see it has created for us this set and now to proceed with recording the action come to the plus icon right here and simply left click on it so as soon as you left click so for this case we want to do a frequency separation for a 16-bit image so i'm just going to rename the action to frequency 16 frequency 16 bit and after that you can come and choose the set like i said the set is the folder in which you, are, you want the action to be recorded under so just simply choose that and now for the function key you can as well assign a function key for the action or the shortcut keys that you can simply press every single time you're wanting to apply the action on a given image then you can as well choose a color for the action so i'm just going to choose violet and come and simply hit record so as soon as you press record you can notice that this is going to be red in color meaning the action steps that we're going to be applying on the image are going to start or be recorded under the action for frequency 16 bit so we're going to come to the background layer and do the processes that involve frequency separation layers so I'm just going to come to the background layer and simply press ctrl j twice then we name this to low frequency and you're going to name this to high frequency and after doing that, we're going to come and hide the low frequency layer and now turn off the high frequency layer and simply come to filter then come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So at this point, usually when you're retouching images or editing photos, we always want the radius to be different every single time. So we want the action to stop at the point whereby we have to move the radius slider depending on the, on the textures that we have in the image. So you're just going to put this to 0 0.1 and simply hit OK. And after that, in order to always stop the action at this point, whereby you have to determine the amount of Gaussian blur for your image, simply left click on this option right here and it's going to stop the action at the point when you have to apply the Gaussian blur. So after that, just come the high frequency and now activate it. Then you're going to come back to you're going to come to image and come to apply image 
so when you come to apply image so this is a 16-bit image that we are working on so depending on how many actions you want to create for your skin retouching so we usually have 8-bit and 16-bit so it is better or it is always better that you create those two differently so i'm just going to go through the steps right here so you come to the layer and select the low frequency layer and now make sure the channel is rgb and the blending is add the scale is to offset zero opacity is 100 percent preserve tra transparency and mask are not checked right here for a 16-bit image you turn on the invert option then if at all you are working with an 8-bit image you make sure the invert option is not turned on and, and the blend mode is going to be subtract the scale is to offset 128 preserve transparency and mask cannot check and you simply press ok so for mine it is or for me it is a 16-bit image meaning i'm just going to turn on the add blend mode with the low frequency layer selected the scale is to offset 2 and i'll turn on the invert option and simply hit ok then I'm going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and you get back the image that it was meant to be. You can see everything we are doing on the image is being recorded within or under the action. So usually I tend to have a layer between my frequency separation layers. So I'm just going to come to this layer and simply come and simply create a new layer between the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so in order to create a layer in order to create a layer between the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer you select the layer that contains all the layer which is below the low frequency layer so we want to create a layer between both the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so you select the low frequency layer and click on so you basically left click on the new layer icon to create a layer between the two layers so you're going to select the three layers that you have created and after selecting them and simply press ctrl g on the keyboard and rename these two frequency separation 16 bit and after that simply hit enter and open up the frequency separation group and simply select the low frequency layer so every time we play the action it is going to stop at the point when it is only selecting the low frequency layer and after that simply come and get the mixer brush tool and you make sure that it is set right so make sure you come and select the hardness at zero percent make sure clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each other stroke has also been selected the weight is nine percent load 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so make sure sample orders is not checked and when you're done doing these processes you can now come and simply stop playing the action by clicking on the stop playing button right there so we want to, we want basically to prove if at all the action has been successfully saved for this very image so we're going to delete this and when you come under the actions right here we are going to close these processes so this is the action so in order to apply the action on a given image, you simply hit the play button. And as soon as you play it, it's going to stop at the point when we determine the amount of radius that we want to remain with in the final image. So you choose a point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and press OK. So I'm just going to choose around 7 and press OK. And the action is going to continue running and it's going to play or create these layers for me automatically within Photoshop. So it is going to make frequency separation and skin retouching basically faster when it comes to retouching in Photoshop. And you can see it has created this and it has also automatically selected for me the Mr. Brush tool. So after doing this, we want to create one more action which is the eye whitening action. So in order to create an action, within our set that we had initially before simply left click on the plus icon and you can name this action to whitening so it is going to work for both the eye and teeth whitening so after doing that you can choose a set or a folder in which the action should be saved which is skin retouching and you can as well assign a color i'm just going to choose yellow 
and simply hit record. So we're now recording the processes for whitening eyes. So I'm just going to come, usually I come to the adjustments and simply select you and saturation. And after doing that, I simply desaturate the overall image up around ne negative 70. And close this and simply press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert that effect. Then I'm going to come to the brushes, right click and get the brush tool and make sure white is a, is the foreground color so make sure white is the foreground color right here and if at all you have any other color you can reset by clicking or left clicking on these two tiny squares right here so make sure white is on top and now make sure the hardness is zero the mode is no more opacity and the flat hundred percent so when you're done doing this you can come back to your actions right here and you stop recording that action so if I told you wanted to do the eye whitening after saving the action, let's simply delete this layer. So you want to whiten eyes or teeth. So you select the whitening layer by clicking on it and simply playing the action. And it has automatically chosen the brush for us. So you can now zoom in and simply reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And you can now come and paint using a white brush to do the eye whitening so this is how you can easily record actions within photoshop to make your skin retouching or processes faster and if at all you have that love this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating